It is 7.41. The kids are still sleeping, I think. I thought I just heard something. The kids are still asleep. Um, I threw some makeup on and I, it's early and I'm like so tired, but I really need to wash my hair today. I don't know why I didn't just like shower and wash my hair, but um, I'm pumping, having a, a cup of iced coffee um, and hopefully I was like gonna try and get like a little bit of a workout in before the kids wake up, but we'll, we'll see how much time I have. Let's get up and kick today's butt. I can, like, well, somebody decided to wake up Yes, you did. Did you wake up? Did you wake up? Did you wake up? Not you. Get down. <laughs> what do you think, BB? I call you a puppy, which is confusing for Marlo. <gasps> Agu. Are you so smiley in the morning? Yes, you are. Hi. I'm wow. <laughs> Hi, you're the cutest baby. Hi. Should we get ready? Should we get ready and dressed and changed? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. As part of my daily routine as mom, you guys know that I'm changing many, many diapers. And <laughs> here in our household, we are huge advocates for the Huggies brand. Specifically for Huggies Little Snugglers diapers, we have used Huggies Little Snugglers for both of our kiddos because we know that Huggies is going to nurture our baby in the same gentle way that we do. They're hypoallergenic, so soft, comfortable, breathable, fragrance and lotion free to help protect baby's naturally perfect skin and they have this amazing pocketed back waistband to keep the mess exactly where it needs to be right in the diaper these huggies little snugglers come with an adorable disney baby design on them look how cute winnie the pooh is seriously does it get any cuter than that Ugh. The Huggies Little Snugglers also have a wetness indicator line on them. This is that yellow line that runs across the front and the back. Once it turns blue as pictured here, you know that baby needs his or her bum changed. Huggies Little Snugglers also have an umbilical cord cutout to help protect the belly button while it heals. And it has an amazing gentle absorb diaper liner and it absorbs that wetness right on contact. Because of all of these features and benefits, more hospitals than ever are using Huggies Little Snugglers. We absolutely love the wipes as well, you guys. These are 99% water, safe for sensitive skin, and fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and they're like a quilt material. They're so thick. I've never had any of these wipes tear on me. Look at the quality of that, it's amazing. Again, we use both the Huggies Natural Care Wipes and Huggies Little Snugglers Diapers as part of our daily diapering routine. We have with both of our kids and we have absolutely loved them. We've never experienced any leaks, never had any rashes or redness. They're just so sensitive and comfortable on baby's skin. There's a crabby boy. It's okay. Hi. Should we have some milks? Is that what you want? Is the milk? Okay. Mom will go get you some milk. Yeah? All right. So I pumped about four and a half ounces this morning and gave him like two and a half. And then this was from my session earlier, which as you can see, this is um, okay. So this is the difference between like pumped milk and haka milk. This is a good chance for me to show you guys the difference. So this is in the mornings. Um, in the mornings, so this is like the first thing that I did. So this is mostly for milk. And then this, as you can see, is like a good blend of like for milk and hind milk. It's a little bit like thicker. Um, again, this was like just like relieving engorgement this morning and this is fully pumping. Now I will notice like later on in the day that, oops, I almost spilled this. Later on in the day, um, this will, um, that, well, like what my haka will catch will be more like this. 
This is just from like when I'm engorged. So I hope that gives you guys like a good example of like the difference right away in the morning. Um, I will mix these two together um, just because I know that this has a good balance of hind milk in it. Um, and actually in the mornings I tend to get lots of hind milk here. Um, so I'm just gonna mix this four milk right in with this. That way I know, um, that way I know he's getting like a decent amount of hind milk in here. Um, I will usually mark on the packages in the freezer too that this is a mix. So I mark like if it's a mix, if it's just the haka or if it's just pumped milk. But yeah, so now I have almost, oop. So I have almost four ounces again here and I will pump again at 9.30. And right now it's 8.30 and I just got done pumping at like 8. So I'm gonna pump again at 9.30 and then that's yeah. usually like a real, that's usually another really good pumping session for me. I've been getting like right around four ounces the past few days, like three to four ounces, which was quite the improvement um, from like where I was pumping before. When I was pumping before, I was only getting like an ounce and a half to two ounces. And now I'm getting close to four every single time. And I don't know, I can't really pinpoint anything exactly other than I've just been consistently pumping every two to three hours or making sure that he's nursing every two to three hours. He tends to like to drink out of a bottle more. Now that we've introduced a bottle, I mean, he doesn't have nipple confusion. Um, he just likes to get his milk faster um, out of a bottle, so, which is fine because like I said before, um, I am working from home, so I have to have my hands free. I'm gonna be pumping from work anyways, so this is just like a really good like practice, like getting into the routine when I get back into the office. So I hope these like little breastfeeding tips like through my day in the life videos like help you guys like, like, and give you just like a real version, like a real expectation of like what breastfeeding and pumping or breast milking, I should say, is like. So, anyways, all right, it's breakfast time in the house, mass chaos. So, we're gonna get her dressed, her hair brushed, breakfast made, coffee flowing. Time to get the day started with the fam. You guys know that I love my diaper cart as well. And how awesome is this? One of those packages of Huggies fits perfectly into this compartment of the diaper caddy that I have here on top. How awesome is that? And then my wipes fit perfectly in here so I can have like three or four packages in here at one time. Awesome possum. All about having a plethora of supply of diapers and wipes by me at all times because let's be real, nobody has time to refill this every single day, but yes. Again, you guys know I love my diaper caddy, and this makes me very happy that a whole package fits right in here. Okay, so I'm super excited. Okay, so I finally booked our trip that we've been planning like back and forth for a while. Now we're just like trying to figure out like good dates. Um, we have booked a trip to um, Montana in Bozeman, which is like really close to Yellowstone and Big Sky. Um, Mike and I have been to the Bozeman area a bajillion times. Like. Five times, Mike? Yeah, five, six times. We've been there quite a bit. Like before we had kids, we went there quite a bit. Um, because like I said, it's like Yellowstone and Big Sky and it's just, there's so much to do out there, like hiking, things like that. So we thought it'd be the perfect place for a summer vacation and I'm so excited. The pictures of this campground we're staying at look amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have a camper or like a travel trailer with like slide outs and bump outs, or not slide outs, but bump outs. Um, we just bought it last March. Super cute little travel trailer and can fit quite a few people in there. So my family, I invited my family, my sister's for sure coming. Oh, I'm so excited. I am like super pumped to record for you guys. We actually have a drone as well. Like I don't know what the dronage is like out there. Do you know? Like there's so many rules for like getting drone footage. We tried in South Dakota last year when we went to the Badlands and there it was like like most of the Badlands you couldn't use your drone in. But Hopefully we're able to find some like good drone spots when we're out there so we can get some really cool footage for you guys. Um, yeah, super excited. That's gonna be such a blast. You say, well, we have breakfast. The baby hangs out here, yeah. You got milk. You burped. 
Yeah, he had like five ounces, pal. So he's probably drinking, I was just telling Mike, like four to five ounces now per serving. Like, he likes his milk and he likes to have nice big servings, don't ya? You're six weeks old today. It's your six week birthday. You want your passy? No, I want to be. You want that passy? So You're just kind of fussy, aren't ya? No, I don't want it. <laughs> My bud. Apparently, mommy's getting a slow start to the day. Mm -hmm. It's 11 o'clock and I haven't gotten dressed yet. Yeah. Should probably wash my hair too. <laughs> oh, very serious. Hello. I love how he like pets me. You're a cute baby. Okay, so just real quick, I know. Just apparently I'm not getting ready today. Um. All right, so Mike got the cutest thing for tonight. He got pizza crusts and sugar cookie dough so that he could make cookies and pizza with Kaya for like a daddy-daughter date. This is so cute. Pepperoni, you got like all the sauce and everything. You got like bacon. Isn't that so sweet? I thought that was so cute. I didn't like tell him at all like to do something cute. Just went to the grocery store this morning after he swung by his office and picked up all this like really cute stuff to have like a daddy-daughter date with Kaya. Isn't that cute? No, that chair's not broken, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so it's much later now. It is almost five o'clock. <laughs> I got myself showered, took a long time. I was like running in and, the, in and out of the shower, checking on baby, checking on Kaya. They were both, well, Riker napped like okay. He was like a, pretty much awake, but he laid there and he was a good boy. Her on the other hand, she has just been Wow, pushing mommy's buttons today, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> you did not nap, so we're going to bed early and you're gonna no, sleep in your bed. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to Target. We're not going to Target, what the heck? <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna help curl my sister's hair. I want to go. I want to go shopping. You want to go shopping? I know. We were gonna go downtown, but Daddy has to go get materials. So, so we're gonna stay here. And we're gonna order some pizza or something. Don't eat my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I pulled a totally lazy mom move, and we ordered pizza for dinner because the kids have just not been having it today. I wonder if I can pause. The cat in the hat. Um, there we go. So, the kids have just like had absolute meltdowns, and like, and I totally expect them to have these days. So, so that's just fine. Um, baby boy, not feeling it. He's really, I don't know what's going on. Poor guy. He's just, he's just kind of fussy, um, and he hasn't napped well. I should be quieter because he is finally napping on the couch, um, and then. Kaya's just like not been having it either. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why there's these tantrums going on, but I really hope that they end soon. But yeah, pizza, pizza. Oh, come on. I just was telling myself, I'm like, you know what? I've, like lost quite a bit of weight and like I have a ways to go and like I wanna start doing some more of my like healthy eating and workout like videos for you guys, like incorporating some more or just even incorporating more of like my like workout and health routine in my day in the life videos for you guys. Um, but clearly health was not on the schedule today, but convenience was. So, and I got all ready to go, but nowhere to be. Did you have some pizza? 
Mama, he just said yes. Was it so good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, two pizzas. Are we also, are we having ice cream for later? We're having like the ultimate Saturday we're night make party. Cookies and, we're, no, no, they won't. Okay. We're, we're gonna make pizza and cookies. We're gonna make pizza and cookies. I think tomorrow you and Daddy are making homemade pizza. Yes. Yeah, Dad was busy tonight, so he wasn't able to do that. We'll do that tomorrow, though, and make sugar cookies. No. That's what going to make sprinkle cookies. Sprinkle cookies, okay. Okay, okay. All right, Mommy's going to do those dishes behind you, okay? It's a lot of dishes. Like this? This is the honey Look at all those dishes Mommy's got to do. That one? Yeah, say thanks, Daddy, for making all those dishes. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. I did kitchen is clean for the most part. There's some dishes left in the sink, but I couldn't fit any more in the freaking dishwasher. But everything else is looking pretty nice compared to before. I'm gonna go snuggle Kaya on the couch and get a pump session in. 7.30 and she boycotted a nap all day. I just woke her up actually. She was sleeping and I like was giving her kisses and accidentally woke her up. So I'm gonna go put her back to sleep, have a pump session, and then I will end the night with you guys. He does not like baths, do ya? No, don't like baths. <laughs> All right. Well, after several meltdowns, I think we are going to snuggle. Yeah, quite a few meltdowns. I want the keeper. All right, well, we got the baby in the bath. He does not like baths. Baby Riker does not like baths, does he? Mm -mm. All right, I am going to lay in here until baby boy's asleep, and then I'm going to bring her into her room, and we're gonna lay in your room and go to sleep, and then I think mommy's gonna go to sleep. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Cheese. Cheese. Now look at me. Look at picture. As usual, That's make sure you do all the nice things. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs my, up. Make my, sure my, you're. My, uh, my fangs fell out. Your fangs fell out? Uh -huh. We're like all about that these days. She loves Vampirina. Also, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye you guys. To myself, what a wonderful world.